In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up a business account or convert your current account to a business account so you can start leveraging the power of visual marketing on Pinterest. But first, why Pinterest? Why should you even care as an online marketer? Pinterest is a platform where people look for inspiration, specifically seeking out ideas about new products to buy. Now, it's a fact that a life of a Pinterest pin is more than a thousand times longer than a Facebook post. An average Pinterest user spends about 14 minutes pinning posts every time they log into their accounts. With all these marketing advantages, you can easily see what a powerhouse Pinterest has become. If you are planning to use Pinterest as one of your marketing strategies, you should definitely create a Pinterest business account rather than a personal account. A business account offer business specific features like analytics, rich pin and the ability to use pinterest for advertising pinterest doesn't allow access to any of these features if you are using a personal account if you already have a personal pinterest account you can still convert it to a business account so you have two options to choose from the first choice is creating a brand new business account that is separate from your personal account or converting your personal account to a business account Let's start with the first choice, which is creating a brand new business account. To do that, simply go to Pinterest for Business. I will drop the link to this page below this video. On the page, you can start by choosing to join as a business. Next is completing the details about the business and manager of the account. Read and accept if you agree with the Pinterest business terms of service and click create account. It's that simple. The second choice is converting your profile to a business account. To do that, simply log into your current personal Pinterest account and then go to Pinterest for business by clicking on the three dots on the top right and then on add a free business account from the drop down options. You might be prompted to log in again using the email and password you use to register the account. You also don't have to be worried about losing anything on your personal account after converting to a business account. All your followers, pins and bots will convert to a new account. Everything will look exactly the same except for a few additional features. If you are new to Pinterest, you want to ensure that your profile is complete and optimized before moving forward. To complete your profile on Pinterest, simply click on the three dots on the top right and select settings. Here you can upload your profile picture or your business logo. You can also choose your username here. Sometimes this might be autofill when you set up your account. This is where you have the chance to brand your URL the way you would like to see it. For example, if I created this account to target a specific niche as an affiliate, I will use the targeted keyword as part of my username. Here is where you add a little bit about your account, including the keywords that are optimized for search. In this area, you can simply write a little overview about the type of content you will be pinning on your account. You want to let your visitors in this area the opportunity to understand your passion or interest so they can easily follow or connect with you. You can also add your location if you choose. Now remember here that until you have claimed or verified your website, the process is incomplete and you might not be able to enjoy all the features of a business account. Here is how to verify your website on Pinterest. Simply click on the claim tab on the left and add your website address and then click the claim button. Next you will see this pop up with verification instruction. Now there are two ways to claim or verify a website on Pinterest. You can claim your website by either adding a meta tag that Pinterest will give you or uploading an HTML file to your website. Personally, I would recommend you going with the meta tag option. Simply copy this exposed tag and just like it says here above, you should paste it into the head section of your website index. Now, if you are using WordPress on your website, you can paste this code on the header PHP section. On the other hand, if you are not using WordPress, try to contact the platform host and ask how you can add this code 
in your website header. Now head over to your website if you are using WordPress and on the dashboard select the appearance tab on the left and from the drop down options select editor. Now you want to look for header.php, click on it. Now you want to get the code you copied from Pinterest and paste it after this header tag. Personally, what I usually do is I go below just before the end head tag and paste in the code and click the update button to save my settings. Now, if this is all complicated for you, you can always use a plugin called Insert Header and Footer. Just paste in the code and the plugin will do all the job of pasting this code on your website header. After doing that, you can go back to Pinterest to check if Pinterest can pick up the code on your website. If you see this green check mark, that means your website is claimed or verified. So those are the necessary steps to follow when creating a Pinterest business account. I hope this was another helpful video. If so, make sure to hit the like button below, share on your preferred social site and don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another helpful video.